Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this is episode 4 of the Thailand travel series and this one's got some runs in Thailand, we visit some temples, we did this really cool cooking class and it's also got a night out in Thailand. So definitely like this video if you enjoy it and as always we will dive straight into it. My hair's been like this for like a good few days now, I did this these french parts before we left for the airplane but it is what it is <laughs> this is backpacking life hello from thailand basically we're in the north so chiang mai is a city in the north and it's friday the 15th of april and i actually went on my first official run in thailand i basically ran around the city which was so good it's currently 7 30 a.m. I'm going on my first run in Thailand. Um, but yeah, I thought I would get up early this morning, try going on a run, see how it feels. It's 26 degrees, it's humid obviously. And yeah, there's kind of like a river I just looked on the maps that goes around in like a square shape basically. So I'm gonna try and run around that. I don't know how far it is. I didn't bring any of my running watches with me, but I think it was about seven kilometers to run around this whole canal. And running in new places is so fun for me because you can see so much more than just walking. What good views when running. Like we've got a temple, we've got this like water canal type thing here. So nice. Like this is literally where I'm running. Almost finished this run. I don't think I realise how much I'm sweating because it's so humid, but I'm gonna have some rehydration stuff and get back food, make sure we are all good. It's now like 11 a.m. and we've had kind of an organisational morning, so just like booking what we want to do because obviously I planned a whole itinerary, but I hadn't booked a lot of stuff. We are in Chiang Mai for like the next three days and hopefully the best news Matthew's luggage is hopefully arriving today are you feeling good about that math yeah yeah we have been enjoying the trip but it's always been at the back of our minds that is the update from me I am back wearing the elephant trousers because I felt like my calves were like burning a bit yesterday I did put sun cream on but they just felt really really hot GPS tracker the luggage is in there. We thought it was gonna come to the hostel, but we've had to come to Chiang Mai Airport to pick it up. Matthew's luggage is in there. Matthew was so happy when he saw it. Yeah. You too, happy song crown. <laughs> Woo, you got it. So after we'd picked up Matthew's luggage, I basically went out to find myself like a smoothie or a shake type thing and they are sold like everywhere in thailand and they are so appealing just because it's so hot so i got myself this watermelon shake type thing and i watched the lady blend it in front of me she filled it right to the top and oh my gosh it was so refreshing you guys the first time of me having one of these in thailand this is a watermelon shake which i got from a cafe that we walked past yesterday it looks so cute and it says on it like vegetarian food and stuff but i just wanted something like cold and refreshing to drink whilst i'm just walking to this like tour place where i can pay for something that we booked this morning this is actually so good it's like so refreshing it's exactly what i need in this heat i left matthew in the hostel that's why he's not with me he's sorting through his bags i just thought i'd leave him to organize his stuff take some time because obviously he's been without his bag um but yeah i also got three mangoes for 25 baht that is actually insane but yeah is that everything oh someone's beeping someone's coming mm. And this is literally the clip we have all been waiting for, the day when I am cutting mangoes in Thailand. Now these ones we don't actually get in the UK, but oh my gosh you guys, they were literally pure gold and I love them so so much. But a bit later that afternoon we did our first tour, so this was a half day cooking class and we did it with the Smile Organic farm cooking school where they take you to a market you have a little tour of the market before you go to the farm and you actually start doing the cooking Thai people use a lot of kukuma oh yeah we got that in England, yeah. Yeah. In England. Yeah. this is our first tour in Thailand that we've booked and it's like a cooking class tour thing like we go and look around this market that we're at now or we've talked through some of the ingredients we're going to use and then we go to the cooking school and then we make the stuff oh look at all the fruit you guys so much fruit is everywhere like there's going to be so much fruit in these videos oh look at this oh papayas bananas loads of different ripeness oh my gosh these are the mangoes i had before dragon fruit love a good dragon fruit grapes 
What are these? I feel like these are pears, but I'm not too sure. Look at all the greenery, it's so good. These are like different types of noodles and stuff that she was telling us about. All of these are sauces and stuff. And then, as I said, after the market tour, we went to the farm, which was about a 40 minute drive from the market. So maybe an hour from the center of Chiang Mai. And it was so cool. It had like this big open area where you do all of the cooking. And then it also has a garden where they grow so much stuff. And they also showed us around this as well. This is like the garden. We're gonna go and get stuff that we need to make all of our curries and pad thai and everything. All of the recipes can be made vegan. So they just put tofu in and stuff stuff but yeah I am not going to be adding the spice because I am quickly learning that Thai food is all just spicy and I can't handle it. I think that's a coconut tree but I often get trees really confused. How amazing would it be to have a garden like this with all like your own foods and vegetables to just pick and eat like what is this? Oh that's furry. You guys I found the goods. This is a banana tree. The tiny the tiny bananas up there. Yeah, well they might be they might be the baby bananas that you eat. This is so sexy. Like, like, like you know when when you Ooh. eat <laughs> 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 disgusting. What even is sour that? bitter? Okay. Eh? What even is it? Something like Thai olive or something like that. Thai olive? It's not nice. Thai people have this size. The long one we use for our barbecue. And you got uh -huh. butter fry pea in mango sticky rice. If you knock, which means delicious. If you not knock, you acquire something wrong. Ah, ah self confident. Like my food gonna be tasty. Don't worry, don't worry. I am definitely not a cook you guys but this class was so fun and kind of a bit chaotic we were chopping things smashing things like hitting the garlic i was trying to follow along as best as i could but there were so many ingredients that we made like spring rolls and the first thing we were making was like a fried type thing so i was making a pad thai you basically could choose the dish you wanted to make and what i really liked about this cooking school was that everything could be made either vegan or vegetarian watching me basically do is make the curry paste so we were using a pestle and mortar to smash and grind all of the ingredients and then we would use that to put in our curry so i chose to make the spiciest curry which is green curry apparently but i just chose it because it looked really pretty and then we also made a thai soup alongside and had that with rice and yeah that was basically another meal that we had at the cooking school do you want to say hi to the vlog um hi Hi, Bob. Hi from the UK. <laughs> Hi from the sunny UK. It's actually quite sunny. It's been quite nice today. Oh wow, that looks sunny. Can you see I washed my hair? Have you put your curling stuff in? Yeah, I plopped and I'm going to put my bonnet on. Have you done all the, have your to-do list is all done, is it? Yeah, there's a couple of things I need to still do, but I've booked our accommodation for like pie and I did the spending spreadsheet. Oh, you are so. going to pie? I thought at one point, I thought the other day you said you might be going to pie because the waterfalls have dried up. Yeah, but I think it's still worth going. As you guys know, I'd made a rough plan of what I wanted to do over this month in Thailand. And when most people come to the north of the country, they go to Chiang Mai and then they also go to Pai, which is just a bit further north, which we were planning to do as well. But that will just be in a future episode in this series. Excuse how sweaty I am right now. I am really red in the face. I'm like a tomato because I have been running this morning, but then I'm going to take a couple of days off or a few days off from running because I've done two days back to back and obviously we're not pushing it. Yeah, I'm just out this morning. Matthew is asleep. I think he wants to sleep in today, which is totally fine. I spoke to mum yesterday evening. I didn't speak to you guys about the cooking class, which was honestly so good. Like I highly recommend that place. It was called like the Smile Farm or something. The lady who took our class was called Pukki, P-U-K-K-Y, and she was so good. Like honestly, she was hilarious. Her energy was amazing. The best thing when you do tours is if you have a good tour guide, it just makes it so good. And the people on the tour were so nice. There was another class going on next to us, but we did the half day one, which went on till nine. We cooked so much food and we also ate like all the food. I pretty much ate everything because I didn't want to waste it and I was really hungry. And yeah, I made the pad thai, the soup, 
the green curry and the rice we got cookbooks from it we got like the whole garden tour it was honestly so good so i highly recommend that i also recommend like highly recommend our hostel it's so good it's like 11 pounds per night or something you can get cheaper places like the place we're staying next but the engineer posh tell it's so good i am out though now to find some fruit because the fruit here is honestly immaculate like it's so good Guys, look at the cat, just sitting there, so cute. My sunglasses keep slipping down my nose because of my sun cream on my face. If you just like walk around for a bit and you ask for some prices, you will eventually find stuff that's so good. So I got a coconut water for 20 baht. We have it on the daily at the moment. I then got a dragon fruit for 10 baht. This was 10 baht, the last one, but the lady gave me two mangoes for free. These two mangoes she gave me, so I got all of this for 10 baht, which is so good. That's ridiculous, that's like, 20p or something i have this currency converter on my phone which i just used 23p 23p you hear me that's crazy my coconut water was more expensive than this. even though mangoes are definitely my favorite fruits and it has been confirmed whilst i've been out here in thailand already i do love the dragon fruits as well they are also so pretty but yeah our plan basically for this day was to go and visit one of the most iconic i'm gonna say temples in thailand which is in doi suthep so you basically have to travel up the mountain we're basically one of those red cars like driving up to this temple in doi suthep it's like one of the best temples or like the best temple in Chiang Mai. Um, but yeah, we've just stopped off at this viewing point. So good. It's really foggy. You can't really see that well. Maybe it's my bad eyesight. I don't know. Like basically Northern Thailand is like mountainous essentially. So we've just driven up this really windy road. I am quickly learning that there are lots of windy roads in Thailand. But this journey I'm going to say took about 40 minutes. These are all the steps going all the way up there to like the temple, which is right up there. Whoa, look at this view. Matthew's already like up there pretty much. We're not sure if we were like ripped off by our driver, but you know, it is what it is. We tried to barter, but <sighs> we're not very good at bartering. Oh my God, it looks so good. I really want to know what this sounds like. I think it's like a gong type thing, um, but it's so hot up here. My hair down was a bad idea. I basically have a t-shirt on to cover my shoulders and trousers. So I can hopefully go in the temple today because the other day I couldn't get in the temple because I was wearing shorts and stuff. With this temple then, you can walk around the outside, but you can also go into the main bit of the temple and you just have to pay 30 baht, I think it was. So you take off your shoes and then you can go and see the main bit, which is just so much gold and there is so much to look at everywhere, but it was really cool to like go in. And this was the first temple that I'd actually been in in Thailand because as I said on previous days, I hadn't been wearing the right clothes. in the sun like the floor is baking hot i don't know how people are walking around bare feet like i have socks on right now and um my feet are like burning i have really sensitive feet so yeah it's really cool we're back in this red car thing and yeah we're just going back down the mountain we're almost at where we're being dropped off again but we got banana smoothies, they were so good, like so sweet, and yeah, it was really good, like really fun. We just had a bit of a break to chill, I'm out again now, we were in the hostel just with the aircon. It's so hot still, like crazy hot. Um, I know it's not very Thai of me, but I found these vegan snacks. I found these vegan snacks in 7-Eleven that I wanted to try and you know part of the adventure here is like trying cool vegan stuff. Crispy taro with passion fruit. They did like different flavors. I'm gonna try it. Mmm! You'd never find something like this in the UK. Oh! This is Pappy everyone. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? 
<laughs> this is vodka. Yeah. With sugar, sugar and a and plum. plum. Yeah. You can test it. Test it. Happy made it himself, that's why I'm trying it. So vodka, soda, plum. I'll just eat the plum. It's not that strong. I mix a lot of soda. You mix a lot of soda. A lot of soda. Tiny bit of vodka. Loads of soda. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't know if I'm a lightweight. If you can't just walk to your room. <laughs> so easy. The room's just down there, so I can just go to bed. It takes three months to make this. Before we open the, the cap and drink. Right. The color is not so brown. Actually, it's gonna Oh, be so like it should so be brown? Yeah. Cheers to the first bit of alcohol. In Thailand. In Thailand. I haven't drunk alcohol since years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Cheers. Cheers, puppy. I'll go and eat lots of rice after this. So as you guys know, I don't drink alcohol, but I felt like I may as well try this because Papi had made it and you know, it's an experience traveling and it's all about the adventure and the fun of everything. We're basically going out to um, North Gate or something. It's like a jazz bar. Um, I've had a bit of Pappy's alcohol. It seems to have gone to my head already because I haven't had alcohol in years. Like I've tried it, but you guys know I don't drink. I don't want to take this massive rucksack. So I'm just going to take my bum bag. I need some cash. What else do I need with me? My life in a bum bag, basically. My phone. Oh, I was supposed to call mum. Oh no. I've done that before. Yeah, I know, but mum's probably like, what is happening? But yeah, we're going on a night out in Chiang Mai. This is actually quite fun. I feel like a little rebel right now. Everything being cash in Thailand is really kind of annoying, but you know what? It is what it is. 500? Do I need any more than 500, ma'am? How much are you taking? I'm taking a thousand. A thousand bar? Spend all of it, but just in case. <laughs> okay, I'll take five. A bar could be quite expensive, plus food. I'm going to buy a decent amount of food. Today. Good job our flight is not at like six something like it was going to be tomorrow. It's like at three, so we have time to recover. Wish us luck on a night out in Thailand. So let me give you a little overview of what happened. So Pappy was too tired to go out in the end So the three of us so Matthew and this other guy from the hostel went out to this jazz bar Called Northgate as I said and the music here was actually so good and it was a really cool vibe Except when I tried some of Matthew's alcoholic beverage, which I really didn't like oh, And yeah, as I said, we went to this club. It was called Zoe. They made me take my water off me, which I wasn't too happy about. And they were going to charge me like 30 baht for a small bottle of water. But you know what? Aside from that, it was a great time. I haven't done this in such a long time. But you know what? As I said, it's all about the adventure. Matthew, um, when he is drunk, <laughs> be careful. Coffee. It's okay, I can walk and I can hear, but if they ask me to walk in the train, I'll watch. Wait, there's a car, okay? Right, so imagine you're on a tightrope. I want you to walk straight for me, please. Yeah, good. That's really good. That's so good, Matthew. How many? To do the if I okay, just walk, just walk, just walk. Be careful, okay? Just walk. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, normally it's fine. Yeah, normally it's fine. I mean, 
Right. I am basically. This will be your best vlog ever. Okay. <laughs> Watching maybe there's a motorbike. I know, I'm serious. We're gonna stop by 7 Eleven to get some water because we actually have a flight tomorrow to catch. And um, it's 3 pm. Not 6. Whoa. Um, Matthew, are you okay? Yeah. You're not. Oh my god. Uh, You're not gonna be sick, no? No. Right. Hey guys, good morning from Chiang Mai. I definitely think that's how you say it. But yeah, we had our first night out in Thailand yesterday and my first night out in like absolutely ages, like years. And Matthew also hadn't been out since like school. Matthew also didn't go to uni, so yeah. This video, firstly, let me explain. So there's been a little gap in this video because we were in Chiang Mai, we then did a two day tour in Chiang Mai, which is a separate video that will come after this one. And then we went to Pai, which will be the vlog after that. So we've now come back from Pai and my plan was just to like end this video because we'd just been like exploring Chiang Mai. That was basically what I wanted to do yesterday for this video, but we spontaneously went out because it was like our last night in Chiang Mai and Pappy who owns this hostel and is obviously so great he was like why don't you go to what's it called north gate it's like a bar and that's where we watched the live music yesterday which was so good and then we went to this club called zoe or zoe's you guys know i don't drink but i was like you know what i may as well try it i could feel it going to my head you guys like almost immediately i felt it hit like i've never really drunk alcohol i tried a bit of pappy's wine or something and i also sipped a tiny bit of matthew's like rum and coke when we were at the bar and that was absolutely disgusting like it tasted like hand sanitizer i don't understand how people drink it like that's one of the main reasons why i don't drink alcohol and the second reason is because i don't like the idea of me not being in control of my body so yeah all in all i had a tiny bit of alcohol but i did feel it i was a bit tipsy that's what Matthew said and I was just very hyper and very giggly but yeah after about like an hour at Zoe I started to feel really tired at that point like the alcohol I think had worn off and I was fine I was just like looking after Matthew at that point because before that I think Matthew was a bit like oh Holly's never had a bit of alcohol and clearly it's affecting her quite quickly I don't know how much Matthew had but he was very happy like I haven't seen Matthew that happy in a long time which was really fun like he was dancing he was raving we were having a really good time but then we decided to walk back at like midnight to the hostel which wasn't very far and we were together so it was fine and let's just say it didn't really end too well I at that point was like not worried but I just had to watch Matthew and make sure he was okay. Yeah, like I didn't want to leave him like that. I've never been in a situation like that with someone too far gone sort of thing. It was, yeah, quite a night. So let me tell you that it was very fun. But basically I went to bed at like 1.30 a.m. I was worried basically about Matthew sleeping on his back, obviously. So he actually stayed outside and slept on one of the bean bags in the like common area. And because there's another guy in our room who's not here right now, I would just feel really bad if he was disturbed in the night. So I kind of came in quietly, made sure Matthew was okay. And yeah, he's in the shower now, so <laughs> that's good. I actually woke up this morning at like seven. I went on a run at 7.30. It was a really good run, actually. I just did my canal run around the city and yeah i'm dressed i've had a shower we are actually flying today we're flying down south but yeah that is basically um what happened yesterday i'm actually really glad i tried going out in thailand just to experience it i had a good time i am definitely not sitting here judging those who drink if you want to drink alcohol that's fine like that's your decision but for me personally i just I just don't want to do it and I won't ever like drink drink. I can have a good time and enjoy myself without it. But yeah, I just wanted to say about this hostel, the Antonip Hostel. It is owned by Papi, who is honestly like, as I said, so amazing. If you are in Chiang Mai, definitely check out this place and come and stay here because the rooms are so cool as I showed you in the video before this one. And Papi just goes like the extra mile to help you out that is my sweaty running stuff over there by the way drying but pappy gives you towels he like bought vegan food for me to try the other day i didn't actually vlog it but i tried like glass noodles with like veggies and stuff he paid for some extra drying time when we were doing washing he discounted our rooms for us like he gives you advice on how to book things which websites to book through pappy also taught me how to say stuff in thai to help me out when getting food the word for vegan as i've said is j but if i want to say like no meat no pork no eggs 
no seafood, no milk, and no fish sauce, I have to say the following. My mu, my gai, my hai, my tale, my nom, my niampang. Niampang, niampang. Uh, but yeah, he told me how to say that. So yeah, that is basically this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have like a heat rash I feel on my neck. I keep itching it and it's really annoying. But yeah, thank you as always for watching this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when I upload because it's very sporadic at the moment. And yeah, as always, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Bye! Be the backpacker then, put it on your back. This is a water, am I zoomed in? It's so sunny, I should have my sunglasses on, one sec. Oh my gosh, it's literally what I wanted right now. Mm. I want to just eat them. Mm. I thought it was called a bum hose. Well, it, that's what it's meant for, you have to clean, clean your bum. Oh, I can't even speak. Right, um, happy, what am I saying happy for? This is our nearest market. Oh, there's a motorbike coming towards me. Be careful doing that. Be careful for the acceleration. Hello. Do you think it's going to rain? Do I need a rain? Okay, right, I think we're ready. Should I take my cap? No, I don't need my cap. Focus camera. Okay.